the Silent Shield, how to secure your car with a modified AirTag tracker in an age where even your refrigerator can connect to Wi-Fi, it's surprising how easily your vehicle, one of your most valuable assets, can vanish without a trace. Car theft may seem like an old-school crime, but today's thieves are leveraging digital vulnerabilities, signal jammers, and relay attacks with alarming effectiveness. That's why today we're stepping just slightly off the beaten path to explore how a small piece of consumer technology, the Apple AirTag, can become a strategic asset in vehicle recovery. Not only that, we'll show you how to modify it to make it silent, hidden, and nearly impossible for a thief to detect. We are not simply tossing this tracker into a glove box and calling it a day. This episode is about stealth, security, and cyber-physical preparedness. Let's begin. First, let's talk about why AirTags have become a favorite among vehicle owners looking for a discreet method of recovery. Originally marketed as a way to track your keys, luggage, or even your pet, Apple's AirTag has become something much more, a compact, encrypted, crowdsourced GPS proxy. Because it utilizes the entire ecosystem of iOS devices via Apple's Find My network, it doesn't need a built-in GPS or even a data plan. If your AirTag-equipped car is stolen and passes within Bluetooth range of another Apple device, of which there are over a billion globally, you'll receive an anonymous, updated location. This makes AirTags exceptionally powerful in urban or suburban areas. But Apple designed AirTags with privacy in mind. If an unknown AirTag travels with someone who has an iPhone, they'll receive a notification, and worse, the AirTag will begin to audibly chime to alert them. That's great for privacy, terrible for security. So, if you're placing one in your own vehicle and want to ensure it stays hidden even if the car is stolen, the first modification is removing that speaker. This is where the engineering finesse begins. You'll want to do this indoors on a clean surface, preferably at a workstation or desk with good lighting and fine tools. Begin by removing the AirTag's back cover. You do this by pressing down and twisting counterclockwise. This exposes the crossing 2032 battery, which you should set aside. Try to avoid touching the battery's surface, oils from your skin can reduce conductivity over time. Next, observe the internal structure. You'll notice contact terminals. Ensure these are pointing up during disassembly. This orientation will help you identify where the internal clips are located. Using a precision blade, something like an X-Acto or utility knife, carefully wedge into the AirTag seam. There are three internal plastic clips holding the casing together. One is located near the gap in the shell, the second is centered directly opposite it, and the third sits near the battery cradle. The mistake many people make here is using a screwdriver to pry all the way around, snapping the retaining tabs in the process. We're avoiding brute force. Gently work the blade near each clip location. When done properly, you'll hear a subtle click as each tab disengages. The casing will come apart without permanent damage, allowing you to reassemble it later. Now, inside the AirTag, you'll find a circular black component attached to the shell, this is the speaker. It may come off with the back plate, or it may remain stuck to the circuit board. Either way, use your blade to gently separate it from the glue. Once removed, the speaker can't emit sound, rendering the AirTag completely silent. Now that the speaker has been removed, it's time to reassemble the unit. Look for a small alignment dot on the plastic casing and another on the outer ring, these should match up when you press the unit closed. Firmly press the two halves together until you hear a soft click. Then reinsert the battery and twist the cover back on. Now pull out your iPhone, launch the Find My app, and verify that the AirTag is still operational. It should appear in your list of devices. Tap it, walk around, and confirm that your phone tracks it accurately. You've just created a silent tracker, nearly undetectable by auditory or digital means, for your vehicle. Before we proceed to installation, a brief ethical reminder. This guide is intended solely for protecting your own property. Using tracking devices on people or others' belongings without consent is not just unethical, it's illegal in many jurisdictions. Don't do it. Now we move into the tactical portion of this project, strategic concealment. Your AirTag is useless if a thief finds and discards it within minutes. You need to make it nearly impossible to locate, even for someone familiar with AirTags. Start by looking at the architecture of your vehicle. One of the simplest places to hide a tracker is behind the fuse panel. Most cars have a removable panel near the driver or passenger footwell. Tuck the air tag behind or beside the wiring harness, not within the fuse sockets themselves, to avoid any risk of electrical interference. Another option is inside the steering column. 
This requires removing a plastic shroud, which usually involves unscrewing two or three bolts. Once inside, you can nestle the air tag behind internal plastic framing. This spot is unlikely to be checked unless the thief fully disassembles your column. Ventilation ducts also offer concealment opportunities. By removing an air vent grill, you can insert the device into the cavity behind it. Just ensure it's secure so it doesn't rattle or obstruct airflow. Similarly, the overhead console where your map lights reside can be another discrete location. Many of these can be popped open with a trim tool. If your car has unused switch blanks, those plastic covers that hide where optional buttons would go, these are perfect. Pop one off, adhere the air tag to the inside, and snap it back in. It will be completely invisible, silent, and difficult to detect. Wherever you choose, prioritize locations that are physically secure, electrically safe, difficult to access without tools, away from metal shielding that could block Bluetooth signals for obvious reasons, we won't be revealing the final hiding spot we used in our own vehicle. Security, after all, depends on unpredictability. Once your AirTag is installed, it's time for a live test. Pull out your iPhone and launch Find My. Walk away from the vehicle to simulate separation. If the device reports its location and updates as you move around, you're good to go. In the event of a real theft, you'll be able to track your vehicle in near real time as long as the AirTag pings other Apple devices. Remember, AirTags are not real-time GPS devices, but they are remarkably effective when used in urban environments with a dense population of iOS users. It's important to be aware of what AirTags can't do. They don't offer live tracking second by second. There's always a slight delay, dependent on nearby Apple devices. In rural areas or underground garages, you may have longer gaps between pings. Also note that newer Android phones, via the Tracker Detect app, can now scan for nearby AirTags. While less effective than the iOS anti-stalking system, it's a potential risk. But with the speaker disabled and the device deeply hidden, your odds of detection drop significantly. We should also emphasize that this is a passive tracking system. It doesn't prevent theft, it increases your chances of recovery. For maximum protection, combine this with other security measures, steering wheel locks, immobilizers, and motion detection cameras in your garage. In a world where cyber and physical security are merging, the humble air tag becomes more than a gadget, it becomes a tactical tool in your personal defense strategy. We've taken a basic consumer device, stripped it of its vulnerabilities, and retooled it for one purpose, to protect what matters. Whether you're defending your vehicle from digital relay theft or just preparing for worst-case scenarios, solutions like this demonstrate that low-cost technology, when modified smartly, can rival commercial tracking systems costing hundreds more. If you found this guide useful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more smart strategies at the intersection of health, safety, and cyber-physical security. And as always, use tech wisely, ethically, and for your protection, not someone else's surveillance. We'll see you in the next one.